Hi everyone, I'm here at GoTo Amsterdam where I'm talking about the Platform Engineer's Guide to API Gateways. So I'm going to walk folks through the platform engineering space in general, how we should build platforms, how we should think about platforms, and then specifically dive into API gateways and cloud native communication. So with platforms in general, I'm talking a lot about um, the need to treat the platform as a product. Really, really important to invest and to um, do research as if the platform was a product. I also talk about there's no good developer experience without good user experience. Definitely, I've seen a number of tools and you know, API gateways, no different, that are built without developer experience in mind. And they're really hard to use day in, day out. And if something's really hard to use day in, day out, <clears throat> you're not going to want to use it. You're going to struggle to use it to get your work done as well. And then I talk about focusing on the workflows and the interoperability. These are things where if you get it right, you know, um, build the tool correctly, uh, Embrace the workflow you're currently using is much easier to adopt the, the tools as well. And then interoperability and integration are really important, particularly in the you know, platform space, in the API gateway space. Uh, if you choose products that work well together, it makes your life so much easier. So for example, I gave a demonstration of how we plugged in uh, the CNCF Emissary Ingress uh, API gateway with uh, Buoyance Linkerd. And it was like a one line piece of config because they're both built using the Kubernetes resource model. They both sort of um, use best practices in the Kubernetes world. It just made it so much easier to integrate the, um, the, the two projects. I gave a couple of counter examples. I won't tell you exactly who they were. You can watch the full talk to figure out who I'm going to name and shame, uh, jokingly, uh, on for complexity here. But thinking about the interoperabilities is really important. Uh, and lastly, I talked about the integration as well, thinking about integration. So I've seen with API gateways uh, and platforms in general, but API gateways, when you're trying to extend uh, the functionality, typically through plugins, filters, extensions, um, you really need to think about things like coupling and cohesion. Uh, many, you know, many a problem in my 20-year uh, software development, uh, software engineering career has been down to coupling and cohesion and not thinking about these things. But it's very uh, tempting when you're building extensions for an API gateway to just highly uh, couple the stuff you're building with the gateway itself with the application itself. And therefore, if you do want to migrate the API gateway or change the API gateway, it's really hard because of these extensions are tightly coupled into all the things you do. They're kind of like roots in the ground is the way I see it. Extensions make the roots grow a bit deeper and it's really hard when you're trying to pull the thing up, all the roots come with it. So it's really, really hard. So that was kind of the, in a nutshell of you know, focusing on platforms and how they relate to uh, API gateways. There's a, a whole lot of takeaways focused on, on really just embracing you know, your building technology that is being used by someone, which sounds really obvious. We build products day in, day out um, that are used by people and we really think about the user experience there. But I think when we're using our own internal tools, our own internal platforms, um, we do not spend uh, enough um, time thinking about the user experience. So I tried to guide folks through like, my experience of building platforms, particularly API gateways and other um, technologies like Service Mesh and CNI and SDNs, and really get people thinking about uh, if I am going to make this decision to implement an API gateway, to use an API gateway, uh, to integrate it, to migrate it, for example, from, from a pre-say pre-cloud stack to a cloud stack, what things do I need to think about? What things do I need to compare? Uh, and, and I try to provide some pointers along the way for um, for uh, things you should really pay attention to. So if you want to know what those pointers are, you're going to have to see the whole talk.